Hello and welcome to this ground logic calibration video covering the spray system pattern adjustment for the Pathfinder and Pathfinder XC. This video is designed to help you adjust your spray pattern to be the most effective and efficient. Start by adding water to a tank that is clean and chemical free. Usually two or three inches of water is enough to test with. Take the machine outdoors and check the pressure regulator. Normal pressure should be 25 psi, however, if you have changed the tips from the original, you may require a different pressure. Make small adjustments to the regulator if needed. When setting the pressure regulator, be sure to run the machine at full throttle and to have the spray valve open. Let's start with the wide pattern that uses the blue flood jet tip. Since you will likely need to move the machine to pattern the spray system on the concrete, you will want a way to measure the pattern and to be able to move it as well. Two ways to do that would be to either use a tape measure set to 10 feet or use a 10 foot board marked at 5 feet to center it. First let's take a look at a good pattern. The spray should cover 10 feet across, be straight, and project out about 3 feet at the farthest point. Now let's get into some abnormal patterns. If your pattern is spraying out far enough but is spraying at an angle, locate the blue tip and using a flat blade screwdriver, turn the tip in the direction needed. If your pattern is straight but too close or too far, making your pattern too narrow or too wide, locate the blue tip and rotate it by hand, either rotating the bottom out to project out farther or the bottom in to project closer to the machine. This last example for the wide tip is if your pattern is straight but too far to one side. Using a pump pliers or small crescent wrench, bend the tab that the nozzle is in slightly. Bend the tab in the opposite direction that the overspray is occurring, being careful not to overcorrect. The metal tab should match closely to the metal frame around it. Before we go on to the narrow pattern, let's take one more look at the correct pattern on the wide spray. Now let's move on to the narrow pattern or trim tip. The narrow pattern should only cover an area as wide as the wheels. Here we show a tip that is turned at an angle. To adjust the pattern, locate the red trim tip and turn the tip in the necessary direction. You should be able to turn the tip by hand, but if a pliers is needed, use caution not to damage the tip. In some cases, more than one of these adjustments may be needed. In these cases, try to correct one of the abnormal patterns before moving on to the next one.
That concludes our video covering spray pattern adjustments for ground logic pathfinders and pathfinder XCs. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out our other maintenance videos for all ground logic machines.